Three minute trader tip, trading system biases. Bias is a disproportionate weight in favor of or against an idea or thing, usually in a way that is closed minded or unfair. Now, in a trading context, if we look at systems or strategies to trade various price movements, this may prevent or slow the development of a successful system if a potential bias is in place. The cause of this may be multifold. It may develop through what you've been taught, through whichever education you've received with trading, your experiences that you've had, confirmation bias, where we look for things that are going to confirm a particular system or, or set of indicators may work and ignore that evidence that says they won't or from of course measurement errors where we're not measuring what we're trading and we're making decisions about our system or strategy based on whims without the evidence that measurement gives us so let's look at our potential assumptions or errors to avoid when we're developing trading systems to avoid what i would term a system bias First of all, there's assumptions about the validity of starting with an indicator rather than price action. Every new system or strategy should start with a specific price action that you're seeing that you want to optimize to make sure it's going to work. Then, of course, we add clues such as indicators to give us a higher probability. We don't start with a moving average cross. We start with the idea of a trend reversal, for example. We can make assumptions about component parts. We may have an indicator that is our favorite. We like it, we use it all the time. So we've got to be careful that these component parts of our plan are transferable across different strategies and systems. Also, of course, we need to make sure that these are articulated, written down in a way that's specific and unambiguous. It's not okay when it's in your head. Many people assume that a successful system has to be complex. Often simple is best. And not only from the point of view of being able to follow, but also being able to tell how to improve the system. It's wrong to make assumptions about the transferability of a system across in instruments and time frames. What may work on the Aussie yen may not work on the Aussie USD in the same way, or on copper, or on BHP. We can make assumptions about the potential duration of a move, which may mean that we set our potential profit targets at a particular level. Well, this may change depending on what the underlying market circumstances are. We need to take this into account and make sure that those assumptions are not there to create a bias. We may make assumptions about what constitutes success or failure of a system. It may be some systems may deliver 1% but on a 80 or 90% win-loss ratio, whereas others may produce a far different win-loss profile. And finally, measurement errors. Of course, if we're not measuring correctly or at all, then we're never going to be able to move away from these assumptions with evidence that allows us to develop a system which works well for us. So key question here, how are some of your assumptions serving you? Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.